welcome. So for this video, what I want to do is show you how to label lines. And the question I'm going to ask is here I have a line K and there's a lot of different ways that we can label lines. One, we can just write line K, which is this line right here. And what you see is I have a line and then I actually have one that's orthogonal to it that's going heading up and down um, that's going through the plane P. And we're going to tell you know, if you look at my videos, what is a plane, what is a line, what is a segment, what is a point, all that kind of stuff. I have all those videos explaining it. But what you can see is we have a line. Line K is on the plane P and line and this line CA actually goes through the plane P. Well, I just want to go through to, for this video is just kind of show you a couple different ways to label them because in geometry and in mathematics, we're going to we're going to come up with a labeling and it's very important for you to understand when I want to represent something or if I'm using a problem and I'm saying, hey, this is line this or line that you need to understand which line I'm talking about and the different ways to represent it. So I could simply just say line K. We can give a line a name. We can also represent a line by the points that are lie on the line. So now remember, it only takes two points to name a line or to create a line. So therefore, I only need two points to name a line. And so you could say, just pick any two points that are on line K. Well, I could do line BA. And to make sure I show it's a line, I'm going to actually throw a line with two arrows infinitely going to the left and right to represent that it's a line BA. Now the good thing for you to understand is it doesn't matter what order I represent that because the line is infinitely long. So the direction of how you label it, it doesn't matter. We could call this line BA or line AB. But A and B are not the only two points that are on this line. We could also do AD. So we could call this line AD or line DA as well as the two lines don't even have to be, or the two points don't even have to be next to each other. We could also do line BD or line DB. So it's really important and really cool for you guys to see that there's so many different ways for us to label these lines. So when you're getting a problem from your teacher or you're discussing with other students, you know, be aware that other students might label it differently than you and that's okay. There is no, you know, right, um, right answer when it comes to choosing which one of these to use. So there you go. That's just a brief little introduction of how to name lines.